Hello my planner friends. Good to see you and be seen. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of my June 2020 Coco Daisy kit, Serengeti. And so let's dig in. I, let's do this. And there's lots of yellow paper here. Oh, and look at all the goodies inside. Okay, so I'm going to take these out and sort them so it is easier to do the unboxing. And um, then we will talk about everything that's in this beautiful box. All right, be right back. Okay, so the first two things I'm gonna start with are these two gorgeous, gorgeous pocket cards. So the first one is the Serengeti card. Oh, sorry. Uh, the Serengeti card, and I just love the giraffe. And then on the back side, Christine um, explains about how they had done a safari base kit before, and everyone loved it, and so they brought it back. And I'm very glad that they did because I was not here before. Um, and I love that little peach uh, pattern in the background behind that giraffe there. That's very pretty. And then there is a Simon card as a freebie, which is so incredibly cute. And that's when Betty realized she had enough plants, which is so funny because my mom used to have um, plants like that in our house. We had tons of plants when I was growing up. And so those are just extras that you can use. And so I am going to start with the planner kit. So the first thing that I'm going to show you from the planner kit are the papers. I do get an extra set of papers and so um, these are just loose and then there'll be another set in my actual kit. Um, but we've got this lovely kind of a chevron pattern in yellow and then this gorgeous um, palm leaves with uh, all different animals tucked into it. And I just love this pattern, this warm colored pattern. Kind of has a leaf motif to it. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. And then I am a sucker for animal print, so this is gonna be a really fun month. I can't wait to dig into this. And then I love this um, African safari type print here. And then there is a zebra print. And then this print just gives me warm fuzzies. I used to have a dress that was kind of this, this print. And then there's that peach colored pattern that I really, really like. So I love the planner kit papers this month. The second thing I'm going to show you is the uh, Dory booklet. This is, let's see, let me get them turned around. I get two of these. This is an A5 uh, Dory booklet. And I cut these apart and use them in my planner. And so uh, it just has lots of pages. I go through and I pick, like for my weekly spreads, I pick, I go through these and I pick the four that I like the best. So yeah, I am loving all of these. It's gonna be so hard to choose four, but I will use the other pages for other things. Here we go. Okay, so this is just, oh, there are, there's other things in there. All right, let's start with the pen. So it is a gorgeous black and white animal print, which I really love. I hope you can see that, that's really pretty. Oh, so excited about that. And then these cute giraffe, that's a great idea, giraffe sticky notes. And so there's one that I can hang on the little part that goes around and then clip. And I love that buttery yellow color. I don't have anything that color. So I do save this paper because um, you can use it to create things. And here are the die cuts that come with the planner kit. They are not, I love that little field notes. I've got to figure out somewhere to use that. Um, and they, that's gonna be super fun. I think. So we have a leopard print or cheetah. I'm not sure, I can never tell which one's which. Uh, washi, and that's a thin one, so I really like that. 
And then let's open this up. The papers are just a duplicate of the papers that I showed you a moment ago. So I'm going to slip these underneath there with those. And then the notepad. Is it the weekend yet? Oh, that's so cute. I've gotten to where I really am starting to use these notepads. I used to never use them. and um, So, oh, flamingo vibes. I love that uh, pocket card. And this one, I had seen this one online. Welcome to the jungle. That is just so cute. Um, okay, so we've got some stickers. Less Monday, more summer. That's so cute as we're going into summer here. Really like this. And then the uh, stickers for the tabs. And there is a challenges uh, sticker this month. So that's nice if you uh, keep up with the challenges. And then here are... Lots of little words and smile your big box of happy is here to use for the next time your big box of happy comes. And then numbers and days of the week, some weekend and meal plan and groceries. This, I use this one a lot. And then I love these little icon stickers. I love using them all over my planner. They're just so cute. And then, you can get the kit with the Daisy Dory booklet, but I get mine with loose pages because I um, I use both. So I just get my kit with the loose pages and then I get the Dory booklet separate. So with the loose pages, I must have just switched mine up. Um, normally I get them punched with six holes, but the problem is that my hole punch and the six holes that are punched from Coco Daisy were slightly different. And so I was using them. It was no problem. I mean, it's a slight thing when the holes don't line up when you're sticking pages together. But I decided that um, I must have, I don't really quite remember doing it, that I wanted it with no holes so that I could punch the holes myself and then they will match up. And so there is the June tab. I typically... Uh, don't use that in my monthly. I use it as an archive. It's an archive page because I like for my little tabs that stick off the side to be a little smaller than that. For a long time, I would cut that off, but I, I'm using it now for my archives. So we have the week on one page sheets that are so pretty and colorful. And then we have the weekly spread. I do end up using these as well as using the um, Dory for weekly spreads too. I do one weekly spread for my life and one weekly spread for social media. So that kind of, and Coco Daisy stuff that kind of keeps me straight. And then we have a notes page and then the monthly page. Oh, that's super cute. And I just love the flamingo and the pinks. Yeah, I can tell you I'm kind of leaning toward the pinks. And then that is my page for um, my focus on declutter for 2020. And then here are the daily pages. And this is why I ended up uh, falling in love with Coco Daisy is these daily pages. Um, I think you're either a daily page planner or you're not. And I, and I definitely am. And I love these. So there are my loose sheets. And I will rearrange them once I put them in my planner. And then there is an extra uh, couple of pen refills. And that is the planner kit. So give me just a second and we will move on to the planner add-on kit. Okay, here we are with the planner add-on kit. And I didn't say this before, but Coco Daisy has updated their branding and it is so beautiful. And so, um, now there is this design to inspire more joy, more kindness, Coco Daisy. I love the new stickers, yes. So this is a pencil to go with the pen. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. Um, and it is so pretty with the zebra print. And so since they're black and white, you'll be able to use those for, you can use them for different things. And then here are more clips. I've already said how much I love, love, love getting clips. So that's a lot of fun. 
Oh, and this one's just a stick on, which is really nice because I can use it um, in my front pocket or whatever. Look at that cute little palm leaf. And then I will save that piece of packaging. And then this is another bit of washi and it has that same striped pattern that the, um, that was in the planner papers. And it's catching a glare. There we go. That's super cute. And then everyone's favorite. Everyone loves these dots. I love these dots. They are totally to love. So, and every month when we get them, I always think, what can I do with these dots? So they are just gorgeous. And oh yeah, you can see how glittery they are from right there. So pretty. So I tried to guess what, I try to match my fingernail polish every month when I'm getting ready to do an unboxing or a video and I tried to guess there. So I'm not really quite right. I'm a little more pinky, but I do like the fingernail polish color that I got. Okay. And then, oh, this is gonna be a great month. If you have not already subscribed, to Coco Daisy, I would suggest you go over there and see if they have anything left over because this one's gonna be a great month, I can already tell. Wild things make my heart sing. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then starve your distractions, feed your focus. That's really cute. And then this is so wonderful if you're going in a store, of course you're probably not right now, um, but you wanna match something up or you wanna look through your papers and match papers up that you already have in your stash. And then here are some more stickers that are super cute. And then the I love letter stickers. And then no, more numbers. And then these are great um, for jazzing up your days of the week and little tiny uh, checklist. When you're curious, fun has a way of just showing up. Curious George. Oh, that's so cute. That is true, too. I am a curious, curious person. Okay, so I'm not gonna take these out because I don't want them to get scratched up, but these are rub-ons and they come with a uh, popsicle stick so that you can rub them on with that. And these are the most gorgeous, lovely things ever. And so I so appreciate that uh, we have them in this kit. I love when they, they are coming. And then these are the, I think they're the heavyweight stickers. I'm gonna have to get them out and touch them to tell you that for sure. Yes, they are the heavyweight sticker. They're almost like um, cardstock stickers. They're really nice. So, yeah, so there's that. So that is the planner add-on kit. And that is a lovely assortment of goodies. And if you'll give me just a minute, I'll put this away and then we will go to the dashboards. Okay, here is the dashboard kit. Um, and we have personal size and A5 dashboards and they look exactly the same, just different sizes. So this one says June, which will make a nice title page. This is a really cool like mixture of prints and it is just really neat looking. And then Wild lives inside her soul. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. It's a great day for an adventure. I have to say the giraffes and the flamingos are my favorites. I think the flamingos are my absolute favorites, but the giraffes are pretty close. That is gorgeous, feeling fabulous. I'm feeling like this kit's pretty fabulous right now. And then this is such a cute page that you can use I'm a little challenged on this page, so this is going to be my goal for Jane, for June is to use these. So I have to figure out how, but yes, I'm going to use that dashboard because I tend to not use that one. Okay, that is the dashboard kit. And so the next um, thing that I'm going to do is I am going to move on to the uh, memory keeping kits.
Okay, this is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And here's another one of those Capture Memories, Your Life, Your Art, Coco Daisy. I'm thinking that I might cut these out of each one of these and put them somewhere in my planner this month. Uh, so, here are the stamps from the Traveler's Notebook. And so, this is really cool. These two layer, I believe so that you can make a leopard print or cheetah. And then this one is a zebra, really cute. There is a great looking uh, tribal kind of washi here. It's black and white with color on the inside. That's really cute. And there is a gold, gold stamp pad. Do you know how excited I am for that? Because there's gonna be a lot of gold in my planner this month. Um, here is another set of those glitter dots. I'm not going to unwrap those because I did it on the first ones. Um, this one, I don't have to take these out because I can just show you the back of this to show you these die cuts. So there's a little tag in there and then there's some words and go wild and June moments. These are really cute. So just for the record, I do not memory keep. I, um, I use the memory keeping stuff in my planner. And then this is a stencil for Zebra and I am just cannot wait to use this to try out new craft techniques. So uh, Christine uh, mentioned that she was talking about using spray inks maybe. And so I actually bought some. I have no idea how to use them. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm hoping that she posts something. <laughs> if not, yeah, well, I'll try it out. But I'm going to try it out on a piece of white paper first before I use my good Cocoa Daisy papers with it. So, um, and I may end up using it with a white, piece of white paper. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try that. And I'm excited to try um, a new technique. This is the Dory booklet that comes with the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And I tend to um, cut this book apart. Oh my gosh, you are my sunshine. Um, I tend to cut this book apart as well and use the papers in it for my planner. Like I said, I don't memory keep. Um, sometimes the papers are a little bit different. And so, um, and they are lightweight. So if I'm doing something like making a tiny envelope, these papers are great. And then I tend to cut out when there's a saying like this, I will cut that out and um, use it somewhere in my planner. And so, yeah, this paper feels so good. It is so smooth. It's really nice. So um, that is the standard uh, traveler's notebook, Dory. And so here are the um, memory keeping papers. And this is just a little, a lovely giraffe totally be using that and I might use this at some point this is like a not so exciting paper but it's really nice when you need a little bit of relief but you need a little bit of color it's so nice to have something like that but the giraffe is so snazzy that I'm just drawn to it and then I love this color um, it's kind of a yellowy greenish color really nice for the zebra print and then the back just has a little pattern and then this little spotted orangey pinky pattern is really cute. And then this pattern is really nice. And then the green, I've already got ideas for one of these sheets of paper. So, um, and then this is just gorgeous. Like every time I look at this, I think I'd really like a dress that had that pattern. It's very pretty. And so then they just repeat. You get two sets of them with the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. This is another set of the heavy stickers. I know that they are, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, let you look at them, and I won't unwrap them because it'll take longer. And then another set of um, rub-ons. So here they are with the stick, with the uh, popsicle stick. And as you can see, the ones that you got from the planner add-on kit are different than the ones that are in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. 
And then there is a nice set of squishy letters for headers. And then there is this great instruction sheet on um, a layout that Christine has done, which is a really cute, cute layout, and, um, and how to do it. And so, um, and if you don't get this kit, but you want that, you can um, download this from the site. I think there's a small fee for it, but it's, it's pretty inexpensive. So that is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And if you give me just a second, I'll get this cleaned up and we'll go through the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. Okay, so I have the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit here and let's start off with this. It's like a, I think it's kind of a metallic bronzy red ink. I can't wait to sh see that. Um, you know what's really funny is uh, the top of it is so shiny that you can see the reflection of the flowers in my phone. So if that's confusing, I'm trying to move it so that it's not somewhere where it's reflecting something. Hmm. Well, um, and then the uh, die cuts, there's another one of the tags and there's some um, circles and words and just really cute stuff, some tabs. And then there's another set of the glitter dots because you can never have too many of these glitter dots. And if you have leftovers, they're gonna be gorgeous come fall. They're gonna be really pretty. And then these are the stamps for the pocket memory keeping kit. So there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. That's so cute. Sunshine is my favorite. You are my sunshine. This ostrich just cracks me up. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, that's really cute, but I love that pattern. Hello, summer. It feels like summer here. It's very warm. I just turned down the air conditioning because it was so hot. Poolside stories, Hakuna Matata. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I kind of want to do a black and white spread. Happy Father's Day. Um, yeah, I've never done a black and white Oh, that's cute. Thumbs up, thumbs down. So you could punch that in your hole, in your hole rings, in your holes, in your rings, and then you can do thumbs up and thumbs down, things that you like and don't like. That's really cute. Currently loving. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm thinking about one of those spreads that has this on it and just going black and white. Enjoy every moment. Wild heart, sun and fun. I like to keep my head above the drama. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Welcome to the zoo. And I say these things sometimes on the video, and then by the time I get down and ready to do them, I forget. So let's hope I keep that in my head about doing a black and white spread. Let's do what we love and do a lot of it. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. June vibes. That is definitely June vibes right there. That's so cute. The gradient. Today, I will do absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna treat that like a card and I'm gonna throw it down one Sunday and say, that's it, today I'm doing nothing. I'm currently on vacation mode. Oh look, vacation mode loading, that's so cute. And since it's black and white, if you're not going on vacation in June, you can save this card for later. I'm hoping to go right at the end of June. I'm hoping that that's gonna work. And I love this card. Um, on one side, it has a Monday start, and on the other side, it has a Sunday start. So um, you can either punch it and see both sides, or if you, I always start on Monday on everything, so I like to put it down this way so that the Monday start shows. Life is better at the beach. It is, I will confess, it truly is. And, it just opened back up just recently, so I can go to the beach if I want to. Um, what's funny is I was thinking, oh, I should go to the beach this weekend, and I was like, oh no, I'm playing with my Coco Daisy stuff. So, I'm still a little worried about it being crowded. Um, I've heard there are tourists, even though you can't rent a place. I've heard that everyone that owns a place is visiting their home from out of state. So there is, uh, these are the four by six cards. Oh, that one's really cute. Stay wild. Oh yeah. Stand tall, darling, and do your thing. Oh, that's so cute. 
Let's go vacation and welcome June. June's stories documented. Those are really pretty. All right, and these are little word stickers. They're very cute. It's going to be a good day. Life's little serendipities. Does it get better than this? Today sucked. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then these are the um, memory keeping papers that we just looked through a moment ago. Both sides. And then there are more um, of the rub-ons. Let me see if I can grab the ones that I had before because I'm not sure if these are the same or if they are different. So this is the one that's coming in the pocket memory keeping kit. And then I believe that this one was the one that came in the planner add-on. And then this one came in the Traveler's Notebook memory you can get. So that's three different sets of rub-ons. So that is a lot of rub-ons. That makes me so happy. And they make your planner look so cute. So that one goes there. And then there are more of the heavyweight stickers. My kind of people, the wild kind. This is my tribe. Oh yeah, these are cute. And then these are kind of hard to see on this paper, but it's um, cream colored alphabet, kind of yellowy cream colored alphabet stickers, puffy alphabet stickers. So that is very cute. And that is the pocket memory keeping kit. Okay, here are the sticker kits. There are four of them. We have the Daisy Week sticker kit, the planner sticker kit, the classified planner sticker kit, and the memory keeping sticker kit. So let's start with the Daisy Weeks. That's the easiest one. So it has, this is for Hobonichi Weeks or some sort of um, planner, uh, I think Prescience, I think it will fit in it. Some, a planner that has smaller, um, if it's a smaller planner, these will work very nicely in it. So these fit perfectly in my Hobonichi Weeks to specify the days. Um, and then there's some icons. And then these are cute little um, decor stickers. And there are two sets of these. Oh my goodness. And they have updated these. Um, and so this one has week 23, week 24, week 25, week 26, and week 27. Be still my beating heart because I love to specify what week it is and that's just gonna make me happy. So that's for the top and that's for the bottom, although you don't have to do it that way, but that's how I do it. And then here are some tiny little boxes and this week's stickers and some checklists. And then there's some deco and some to-do and today headers. And then this is new as well. Um, this is a one-time thing, and it did say on the outside of the kit that, let me get it and um, see exactly what the word said. Please note, this month's Daisy Weeks sticker set includes two extra sheets to decorate your monthly pages free of charge. So... I don't think they're always going to be added free of charge, but um, they are here this month and I love that so that you can decorate your month. And that is just gonna be so cute. I'm so excited about that. And then this set of stickers is uh, transparent. So it has um, plan time, pay bill, take out date night, notes, and then the numbers that fit perfectly right on those little stickers right there and then some little strips of faux washi, and then some deco. So that is a Daisy Week sticker kit. This is the planner sticker kit. This is the first one that I started with. Um, and it has boxes that fit Erin Condren. It will also fit a happy planner, but it won't fill up the box. Um, but it fits width-wise, so you can work with it if you, if you um, have a happy planner, or if you have an Erin Condren. Or if you have an A5 rings and you change your horizontal pages to vertical, these work. Or you can put them on your horizontal pages. Um, same with these, the width is all. And so there's clipboards and trackers, and then some boxes and some words and some hydrate stickers. 
and then some headers and some checklists and a little bit of deco and some big icons. And then this is what I call my monthly <laughs> boxes because they fit the A5 monthly uh, spread. And so the width of these is 1.25, which is the width of the boxes on the A5 uh, monthly page. So this works perfect. So I use these for my monthly page first and then whatever's left over, I'll use them in my planner somewhere else. And then this is another one of the transparent stickers. These are so nice, you can write on your planner and then stick them down over top of it like it's a little uh, watercolor highlight. And then um, different washi. What I like about this is this washi is a little bit different than everything else that's in the kit. And so it gives you a little bit different look. So that's really fun. Okay, planner stick, classic planner sticker kit. So this one is specifically for a happy planner. So it is the same width as these stickers. You can see, and they're it's similar, um, but the um, length, the height of these stickers is taller to fit in a happy planner box so that it fills a box perfectly. And then there are some boxes. And then there's some more um, box patterns and a tracker and some bigger boxes. And then there are some longer clipboards and longer trackers. I end up using these in different places. I don't use them on my weekly spread, but I have a page that I use those on. And then some word stickers and some deco. And then this looks very similar to the one in the um, classic sticker kit. I mean, in the planner sticker kit or sticker kit. Yeah, planner sticker kit. Um, these two look this very similar. This one is more of an Erin Condren uh, length of the checklist, and this is more of a happy planner. I use them both in different places because I don't use an Erin Condren or a happy planner. And then this one has uh, an alphabet page with some washi. And then this page is turned upside down. And then this one is a uh, clear, uh, transparent deco with some more washi. So these are all really cute. I love those. And then as you can see, the memory keeping sticker kit kind of has these same sorts of um, uh, artwork with words the box the size of these is larger than these and it is sized for a big happy planner so if you do happy planner memory keeping these will fit perfectly in there i use them in my a5 so um this page is transparent with some pretty stuff and then there are some big big boxes a lot of times i will cut these down and use part of them in a spot in my planner. I don't I don't typically use the box that big, the pattern ones, but I do cut them down and use them all over the place. So it is really nice. Um, sometimes I will cut the ones like this, I'll cut around the edges of them. And then there are words and some more numbers and then some circles and some deco, a little more faux washi, some more deco, and then another alphabet sheet. So this one has two different alphabets on it. I am all about the alphabet sheets these days. So those are the four sticker kits. So um, the next thing that I'm gonna do, you are now being forewarned that the next kit that I am going to do is going to be the planner classified kit. So if you do not want to see any of the classified kits, that's what I'm doing next. So look away, turn it off when we're done. Good to see you, bye-bye. Okay, so we are going to do the pl planner classified. Um, now you've been worn twice. I am opening it up. So look away if you don't want to know. I am not a surprise kind of person. I want to know. So like I scour to try to catch little glimpses of what will be in this kit. Okay, so there is the washi. That was in one of the other kits. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the uh, Traveler's Notebook. And then there is this cute, it says, Looking Fabulous, the clip pin that goes on the big um, magnetic paper clip that we got several, about a year ago, I think. And um, if you don't have one of those, you can purchase one in the store, I believe. 
And then this clip is a little bead dangle. That's super cute. And then this card matches up with the other card. I don't have the other card handy, but um, this is cute. Gary says, um, I think you might have enough plants. And Betty says, nope, never enough plants. And then the one over, oh, I think it goes over here with uh, Simon swinging on one of the vines. So those are cute together. And then I love these, uh, Motivating Monday. So it's days of the week and it's got a little word in the middle of every one and they're really good looking. So I like that a lot. Oh, and these are cute deco stickers. I love those. And then there's an alphabet sticker. And then there's a little border, a set of border stickers. And then, oh look, I wanna do a black and white layout. So this is what I need to use on that layout because there's a bunch of black and white stickers there. Pouch, that's so cute. And I use that. I mean, I just throw it in my purse with all of my good planner stuff in it. And then I just have it all the time, which is wonderful. Wow. Okay, I have to move this out of the way. I'll put this down here. Wow, look at that. It's like a um, zebra print, but it almost looks like flames because it's so pretty. The color, the gradient. And this is to die for. It is vellum with gold. I have a mink, and I've been thinking about getting it out and trying to use it. But I don't have to because Coco Daisy keeps giving me foiled vellum, which is just gorgeous. So thank you, Coco Daisy, for the beautiful vellum every month in the Planner Classified Kit because it is without a doubt one of the prettiest pieces. So that is the Planner Classified Kit. And so I don't normally get the memory keeping classified kit, but I did this month because there are a couple of items in there. Like I said, I scour to look and see what's in there. And there are a couple of things in the um, memory keeping classified kit that I just felt like I couldn't do without. Let's look at the memory keeping classified. Okay, this is a different, um, this one says life is wild. Oh, I keep dropping it. Life is wild. And it has a solid back, so it does not stick on the uh, magnet. So, but you can use it, um, you know, you can just use it as a little ornament on your page. So this is what I um, wanted to but this was one of the reasons that I could not live without the memory keeping kit this month. Memory keeping classified kit. So this is Nouveau Glitter Drops. So, um, you know the glitter circles that we have? This is liquid stuff and you squirt it out and you make a little glitter drop or you can make it in a different shape. So I am so excited to try this out and I love the color of it. It's just really pretty. So something new to try. And it comes in a cute little bottle with a diamond on the top of it. And then look at those. How cute are those stickers? I can never have too many stickers. And then this was the other reason that I really felt like I couldn't live without this kit, which is, you know, not really a thing, but I can pretend that it is. They are gold doilies and I think they're going to be so pretty and I'm just not sure where I'm going to use them yet but I'm going to try to use all four of them and then these are freckled fawn chipboard stickers I love love chipboard stickers I I put um this glossy stuff on the front of them and glue them to paper clips and I use them for paper clips sticking out of my planner and I love them and so we haven't had chipboard stickers for a while in our Coco Daisy kits. So I'm excited to have these and I will use them. And then there is a set of letters. Um, and these are really cute. I like them. They're big 
and they're white with a little black outline. So that's going to be really cute. So I am so excited to dig into all this stuff. So thank you for watching, especially if you watched all the way to the end. I know this is a long video because I talk a lot. So uh, let's all go get into our planner stuff, get it organized and start playing with it because I can't wait. I'm so excited. And that's what I'm gonna be doing when I'm not working this weekend. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.